Hi brothers and sisters in Christ. I just wanted to do a quick video. Unfortunately, this was another warning on February 19th. Um, I pray every morning in my prayer closet and I pray for all of you. God bless you all. Um, and I pray for you personally. You're on my prayer wall. And I just ask you to take this to the Holy Spirit, to Jesus Christ, and ask for your own confirmation. I always confirm my prophetic words with scripture. And um, Holy Spirit said, I am about to shake the earth like I have never shaken the earth before. And the Holy Spirit's been telling me for years, um, prepare, um, I'm about to shake the earth. So this confirms everything I've heard. Um, and I was sensing in my spirit the West Coast and um, I also an earthquake and I see a 7.2 in my vision. Um, I sense earthquake and I also sense coastlands. Um, I heard those two uh, words in my spirit and I wrote that I will pray more. God have mercy. Also, I heard in my spirit Alabama shoreline and I prayed more about that in the Holy Spirit. Um, was implying like coastal waters and also um, the Great Divide, which he had given me a vision of um, the New Ma the New Madrid. Um, so I'm not I'm still praying about that, but I just feel like that is part of something that's coming. Um, the Holy Spirit said, "Do not." Be caught unawares. The time is now to get your house in order. Repent and humble yourselves before God. Cry out to Jesus for all of your sins. Lay them at his feet. Call upon his mighty name. Humble, repentant hearts. Those are the ones he hears. Amen. Um, and he gave me Hebrews 1, 11, or pardon me, chapter 11, verse 1. This is an NIV version that I wrote down. Now faith and co is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Holy Spirit said, I must wake up the lost and um, all will see my mighty power. Many will put their idol worship and come back to me. Put away their idol worship and come back to me. Pardon me. And uh, the Lord also said that the Illuminati warns and hidden words and agendas and God warns through his prophets, his prophet and his prophetesses. And he also gave me um, Thessalonians 5, verse 20, which is do not treat prophecies with contempt. Um, and then if you go to 21, it says test them all, hold on to what is good, and reject every kind of evil. But he specifically gave me 20. Praise Jesus. Um so I just wanted to put that out there because it's very, uh, it, it lines up with everything that I've been receiving. Um, and I always pray for mercy. I just want people to know to pray for mercy. God is sovereign and Jesus does come back as the judge, but um, he is also loving and merciful. And saints, we need to pray. We need to pray together. And we need to pray continuously. Um, and I was praying for mercy, and I feel millions will lose their lives, and the Holy Spirit said the beginning of woes. And I remember one time I asked the Lord, like, I was crying in prayer, and I said, Lord, what's going to wake people up? And he told me loss, and that broke my heart even more, unfortunately. People, some people, they're so blinded that the only thing that will wake them up is loss, and that made me sad. And then I heard in my spirit, natural disasters, war, then the revealing of the Antichrist. And I just got a sick feeling in my stomach and I sensed the evil one again. I just did a video about the Antichrist. I've done a few now. Um, and I just sense in my spirit, tall, thin, mean as a snake. His whole body is filled with snakes. And I, I don't know why I, I prophetically sensed like, ooh. Uh, man of sin, man of perdition, man of vile thoughts, words, deeds, and actions. This is what the Holy Spirit's putting upon my heart. He will appear as a savior in time of dire need, a saving grace. Discern and listen intently. Watch, pray, and discern. 
you will catch his idle words laced with sweetness kindness and hope